Oh, hi there. My name's Beth, and this is the story of how I renovated my 1904 Dutch sailing barge. This week, the return of rusty bilges. So some time ago, this tabernacle was removed from its lower position and it was raised up and then a new support was put on. And then the new winch was put in place and that was put in place to operate the anchor and to actually raise and lower the, ma the mast. We also need to put some legs on, some shear legs, which I'll explain maybe when they happen, but some legs that support the mast as it comes up and down and allows you to lift it. Um, that was supposed to happen a while ago, but obviously it didn't. Uh, but now I've just heard from the yard that they can fit me in next week. So we're going to go in, we're going to get the mast put back on and we're going to get this equipment to lift, to raise and lower it. And then we're going to come back. I'm really excited. So that's this Sunday coming. Uh, that's Sunday the 9th of October. You'll know that's the date because that's my birthday as well. So that'll remind you. Um, so we, uh, we're going to go up there and so hopefully that'll be okay. So that's a couple of days. It hopefully will be done in not, not such a long time, but it might mean that I can't bring you a video next week because it's all chaos. In which case I'll do an update and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll uh, put all of the footage into the, uh, the, next, uh, the next week. So yeah, so it's really exciting. But anyway, this week uh, we scraped some bilges. Let's have a look at that. So I've cleared out all the scale from the, uh, the inside of the bilges and by me it's heavy. We've had about eight bag, eight rubble bags um, of it out. And, um, and I know that seems like a lot, but actually um, it's a lot of rust, but it's probably not from a huge amount of metal. Um, it does tend to expand a bit, but it's a good amount of metal. It's quite a lot. Um, so we're not gonna let that happen again. So, um, so yeah, so I've cleared out all of that. So I'm going to give it. Um, I'm going to give it a bit of a hoover, and then a bit of a brush, um, and then another hoover, and then it should be good for rust treatment. Now I don't want. I don't actually want to to remove that much rust. Certainly, I don't want to go back to bare metal because the rust converter converts rust. Obviously, it doesn't do much to to unrusty metal. Um, so I want to, I want a reasonable coating of rust to remain so that it can convert it. Uh, I don't know what it converts it to, but it's through some sort of chemical change. Um, so it uh, it converts that, yeah. So um, 
So yeah, I wouldn't do that. But actually just being on hands and knees, scraping all this rust out and stuff, it's, it's exhausting work still. I'm tired again, so I've only been doing it for like a few hours today, sort of four hours today. But it's tiring, yeah, really tiring. So what I might do is I might just sort of finish off the the um, the, rust, the the first hoover, and then I'll spend. Oh, I don't know. I was going to say I'll do a br I'll do a brush of it another day, but I don't want to be. I'm so dirty. I don't want to be this dirty again uh, for a while. So um, so I might just try and do a bit of a brush now. all this up, done the first hoover, I'm going to have a shower now. I'm filthy. So hopefully I can show you the progress in the yard next week but if on the off chance it's completely chaotic and I can't do that I'll do a quick update and we'll catch up the week after. So that's all to come. Anyway I hope wherever you are you're safe and you're well and I'll see you next time. Well, um, I've cleared out um, all of that scale and it's super heavy because essentially it's, um, it's uh, iron oxide and it? it's just iron, it's just steel. I don't know what I'm on about.